Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we're going to continue on with our menu decoration theme here. We've just got another one for you today. And when you hover over it, it's got a sort of inset button effect. It looks like you're pushing down a button almost because we're using an inset border there. And that's a nice little effect to have on your site. And we're also using that effect on our current menu item. If I change the page now, you'll see that our current page is highlighted in the same style. That's really easy to do and a nice little effect to have on your site. We're going to be writing a bit of CSS today to do this, but don't let that put you off. Any CSS code I write today, I'll put below the video and you're welcome to use it and manipulate it how you wish. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is undo what I've done with the code. So I'll select my code and delete that. Save the changes. Now when I go back to this page and refresh, it should revert to the default menu there. There we go, there's our regular looking menu right there. Now I've got a darker background, this will work better with, with darker backgrounds, but if you choose your, your shadow colors, you can do it with just about any background. And to set your background, we're in the theme customizer, which is go down to Divi, theme customizer. Divi and then Theme Customizer or you can get to it from Appearance and Customize will take you to the same spot. And I'm on the primary menu bar. I made the background color 444. And I made the active link color just a light blue color. That's pretty close to the default I'm using 069C3E7 today, but use what you will obviously. And you may want to, if you're changing your menu color, you may want to also change your fixed navigation background color to match your regular one, unless you want it a different color, obviously, right here. So let's get started. I'm going to inspect one of my links here. And we'll set a color for that in a moment, but we're actually going to use the list item, the actual section around it. If I hover over it, you can see it stretches from the link down to the bottom of the header there. I want mine to be stretching the full width there to get this effect going. So we've got to write a little bit of CSS here. And we're going to be writing, overriding some styles. So we have to use the important, which I don't like to use unless I have to, but we have to for this. First thing I'm going to do is give it some padding all around. It'll look a bit strange till I put all four attributes in. So I'm going to say padding. And I know I need 40 on the top to make it tall enough. And then the next one will be the right. So I'll put 10 pixels on the right and then zero on the bottom because we've already got some padding on the bottom and I also need 10 pixels on the left. Now I'm over overriding the default styles here so I need to put important after that exclamation important to kind of force it and finish with a semicolon. Now it's made it tall enough, but it's pushed it down by 40 picks. So I've got to bring it back up with a bit of negative margin. So underneath I'll say margin top, colon, and we'll give it a negative value of 40 pixels. Should bring it back to where it was. Fantastic. Now if I hover over that, you should see it reaches from the top of the header to the bottom of the header. Just exactly what we wanted right there. OK, well, let's make this real because if I refresh now, it'll go back to how it was. We need to write it into our CSS box and I'm going to take it all from the hashtag of the top menu CSS ID there all the way down to the closing curly bracket there. And I'm going to go to my theme options. So it's Divi theme options. I'm on the first tab, the general tab right down the bottom. You'll find this custom CSS box. You can also get to it via the theme customizer at the bottom. If I go back all the way, additional CSS, same place. And also in appearance and customize. 
I prefer to do mine here. I'm not quite sure why, but that's what I'm doing today. So we need to paste that code in there and we need to get rid of any that we didn't change. So we didn't change the display, the font size or the padding right. We've overwritten that padding right, but we didn't change anything else. So we can get rid of all of that. Now we need to create a hover effect and decide what we want to happen with it. So I've got a I'm going to copy all of this control C to copy. I just left click to drag to select it. I'm going to paste it down below. And after the list item, the LI right there, I'm going to put a colon, no space between the LI and the colon and the word hover and no space again between the colon and the word hover. Okay. What do we want it to do when we hover on it? Well, I'm going to, I want a border on it, a sort of dark border. That it almost looks like a crack or a split if you will so we can get rid of these two entries here and I want a border and what kind of border I want it one pix I want it to be solid because I want it to be a bit like a crack or you know size of a button or something I'm gonna make it dark or absolutely black so black is hashtag zero 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 for the black color what else do I want well, I want an inner shadow. And uh, the inner shadow itself, we can we actually write this so you can see it in real time. So let's get our list item here. I'll put it on here and we'll just steal the ones we want for the hover effect. So we'll put that border on there. We want it one pix. Solid. And I want it black zero 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 and put a semicolon afterwards. As you can see, it's put a little border on each of them now, either side there. Remember, we're only going to have this when it hovers over, which is fine. And underneath that, I want that inset border or inset shadow, I should say. So we'll say box shadow, colon, and we want it to be inset. I don't want it to be offset left and right, so I'll say zero picks by zero picks. I'm going to have a spread of say 10 picks. I want a fairly dark color, so just up from black or a couple up from black is 222. Two, two, so let's try that. Semicolon. And as you can see, it's got that little border in there. It looks like that button's pushed in. So that'll work fine. Let's just grab those two, the ones we've just written, and we can copy them into our CSS and make it permanent. It was right here. We started to write something there. And I need to have a closing curly bracket on the end of that. There we go. So that should have made that permanent. Let's save our changes. And remember, it should only take effect when we hover over it. At the moment, it's doing it on all of them. But when I refresh, it should just happen when we hover. There we go. Now let's hover over. And there we go. Kind of looks like it's sort of pushing in a button right there. But you see the, if you watch that logo when I go over it, it's sort of skipping a bit. And the reason is it's adding a one pix border when we hover over it that's not there when we're not. So it's sort of jumping. To counter that, I'm going to copy this border. And I'm going to put it in the non-hover state above. But I'm just going to say transparent for the color so we can't see it but it's still taking out that real estate which will stop it from sk skipping. If I say transparent it should be see-through. Okay now let's refresh and that should have fixed that problem. Now also, as you can see now, that logo is not skipping when we do that and it's not jumping at all. Fantastic. Also, when we hover over, I'd like 
it to be that sort of blue color there let's see what that is if we inspect that I could go to my customizer and see it should be down here somewhere there it is right there let's just copy that color and this is the anchor tag that's on the list item there so if I go up here it's going to be top menu list item and then a so let's go over here I'll just put my color in so I've got it so it's top top menu list item and then a and I also also want it just to be on the hover so if I copy this whole thing and put an anchor tag after the li that should work so I'll copy that let's paste this in here after the li put a space and then for the anchor tag which is what we want to affect now hover that should work fine we'll put in some curly brackets and we'll say color colon and I want to take that color that we copied control X to cut control V to paste but I also I'm going to be overriding some styles here so I really want to put the important class semicolon okay that should take care of that let's save that and see if it's going to do what we want it to do refresh the page great now when we hover over the links changing color also but it's a little dull it's not that bright blue that we've got on the end there and that's the reason that is it's got the opacity by default is down a bit or the transparency is opacity so we can override that as well with a single line of code and remember we're affecting that link again so I'm going to say opacity one which is fully visible you've got zero to one zero point one zero point two etc different different sort of grades of transparency or th see throughness if you want but as I'm overriding those styles I'll have to use that important again I'll just steal the one from above there we go and that should take care of that okay let's hover over now yep that's much brighter blue there that's more like what I was after now you can leave it just like that so it just happens on your hover if you want to Um, but it, I think it'd be nice to have the active page have that effect on it like that too so if I click on this one I should say current item yeah current menu item these are all classes here they've got multiple classes the only one we want is current menu item so if I double click on there and select the, the class that I want current menu item control C let's go back and pop it in here it's a class so it must have a dot or a period in front of it then the class name and what do we actually want it to do well we want it to do exactly the same as our hover effect up here so we want it to have that border and the box shadow it's already got that highlighted color so let's just copy this and that should pretty much do us we'll save our changes go back to the page when I refresh our audio should look like that with a with the board around it there we go and let's just change pages make sure that's going to work fine now if I move off of here yep yeah, that's absolutely perfect and our hover effect still working the only other thing you might want to do is you can slow that effect down slightly for drama if you want to actually that's working pretty well but just to show you how to do that let's do that with a bit of transition duration we need that to add that to the non hover effect which will be top menu list item just underneath the last entry I'm going to put transition dash duration colon and the time we want so I'm going to say around about three quarters of a second or just under I'm going to say 0 0.7 seconds semicolon and let's see and if we refresh now let's get the inspector out of the way we're finished with that one 
Now when we hover over, it's just taking slightly longer there and just fading in nicely. To me, that's a nice effect, but that's entirely up to you. So there you go. There is how to create an inset button hover effect for your menu using the Divi theme. This will also work on the same principle on any other WordPress theme. You'll have to change the classes, but using the inspector will allow you to do that in the same way. So I hope you've enjoyed that today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.